We're going to cross over to Idaho now. Joining us via Skype is Mark Glenn. He's with the Crescent and Cross Solidarity Movement. Many thanks for joining us here on Press TV, Mr. Glenn. Now, the case of Arafat Jaradat is not an isolated one. It shows the extent of uh, torture and rights abuses that take place in Israeli uh, prisons as far as Palestinians go, most of whom are detained without charge or trial. Would you, wouldn't you agree? Yes, absolutely. But I think the question that we need to ask uh, in this is whether or not this young man was deliberately tortured and then released uh, to the Palestinians in order to create the situation that we're seeing right now. Uh, we know that Benjamin Netanyahu is having a very difficult time forming his government, uh, particularly uh, the block of supporters that uh, Bennett received in this last election that just so happened to be uh, concentrated in the very same West Bank area where this has taken place. So while, yes, I, I agree with you, Kanis, that uh, uh, Israel does this just as a matter of principle, uh, detains people without charges, uh, uh, thousands of people, uh, including children, Palestinian children being jailed with no charges, torture, uh, organ harvesting, all of this is true. But I think that there is a bigger issue here, at least involving this particular circumstance, in that uh, Netanyahu may have done this deliberately in order to create the kinds of um, uh, uprisings that are taking place right now, in order to find uh, a reason for to bring all of these disparate groups that have just been elected to the Knesset together in forming a unity government. So basically, you're see what you're saying is that Israel is deliberately creating scenarios where uh, Israelis are basically sent into this perpetual state of fear uh, to bring support for certain political factions uh, of Israel. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. It's it's a theory, of course, at this point, but but uh, Israel's uh, long known for doing things like this. I mean, it, it is a uh, an organically uh, dysfunctional and fractional uh, fraction state. Um, and uh, the only way that you can keep uh, a nut house like this together is to have uh, the, the constant threat of outside uh, uh, annihilation always hanging over the heads of, uh, of these people. And so uh, at a time when Benjamin Netanyahu finds himself in the particularly difficult position of trying to form a unity government uh, at a time when he has made himself very unpopular amongst uh, what we would call the centrist parties and leftist parties in Israel. Uh, something like this, I, I predict, is going to work very favorably for him in being able to uh, kind of bring everybody together under his umbrella or to, uh, uh, again, install himself as, as king of, uh, of the Jewish state. Right. So if we run with this theory for a bit more, um, Palestinians then are nothing but merely pawns in the hands of Israeli politicians who take away their lives for mere political gain? Yes, that's uh, unfortunately the case uh, and has been the case now for uh, over 60 years. Uh, but then again, why should we be surprised when, when you have uh, very prominent leaders in Israel, religious leaders such as Rabbi Ovadia Yosef, who said that, uh, that uh, Gentiles are nothing more than donkeys in human form who have been created to serve the Jewish people, and uh, other Jewish leaders uh, over the course of the last half century that have said even more disparaging things about Palestinian, that they're grasshoppers, that they're beasts walking on two legs, okay. uh, that they're only... So, so yes, unfortunately, that, that more or less fits the, uh, the definition. Okay, we're going to have to leave it there. That was Mark Glenn with the Crescent and Cross Solidarity Movement joining us there via Skype from Idaho. It was very nice having you here with us on Press TV, sir.